Hi, this is Devin from T-Equipment and today we're going to be talking about thermal imaging and how to find moisture. Uh, usually we talk about moisture in a home inspection type environment. Uh, you know, you want to look out for molds and one way to do that is using a thermal imaging camera instead of using a point measurement tool. It's good to use that in conjunction with a thermal imager, but scanning around a house with a thermal imager can make your life a lot easier and quicker. You can also do home envelope inspections at the same time. So, uh, first let's talk about the, uh, the principles of work. So, the first thing to keep in mind is the high thermal heat capacitance of water. So, as you may remember from school, one calorie is equal to the energy it takes to raise one gram of water one degree Celsius. So those numbers don't really mean anything, at least not to me, because I don't know the heat capacities of other standard materials. But what I do know is that's really high, relatively. So most other materials are going to have a lower heat capacitance it's going to take less energy to make them go from one temperature to another. So why am I talking about this? Because water tends to resist temperature changes, we can find it when we have a changing temperature environment. So if it's really cold outside and you've got the heat on in your house, say you didn't have the heat on, you were out for the day, and you come home and you turn the heat on, so in that changing environment, as the house is heating up and it's cold outside, any moisture, say in your drywall, is going to resist that temperature change more so than drier materials. And that's how you find moisture in, in the home environment and in building inspection. You need a, a temperature differential and for some moisture to be present and it'll just jump right out at you because it wants to be colder. But anyway, let's see it in action. Here I've got a towel and a FLIR E95 camera. Low battery, no problem. <laughs> and I'm gonna take a couple pictures here. Now as you see, most of the towel is pretty dry. At least visually it looks pretty dry, right? I touch it. it. Feels like the standard consistency of my bath towels. But under closer inspection with the thermal camera, I can see a distinct temperature difference in this spot and this spot. And then looks like there's a little bit on the inside. So I'm getting temperature differentials greater than five degrees. Here, I'm just gonna mop my brow for a second. It's a little warm in here. Got a little bead of sweat. And wow, look at all that. Now the sweat coming off my forehead is about, you know, 95 degrees. It's about body temperature, right? So why does it look so much cooler on the towel and does, then I know conceptually it should be. A big part of that is due to evaporation. So, unless it's 100% humidity, uh, anything that has moisture in it is going to evaporate. And evaporation is a process that requires a big energy change, going from liquid to gas. It takes a lot of energy to get those molecules moving around. So that, that latent heat of vaporization actually takes energy away from the substrate and makes it cooler. So anytime it's less than 100% humidity and something has moisture, it'll appear cooler, because it is, especially at that surface boundary, which is all we ever look at in thermal imaging it will be cooler at that surface boundary than you might otherwise suspect. 
So that's another good way to look out for, for moisture in your home and uh, building inspection applications. This has been uh, Devin, thermal imaging expert here at T-Equipment, and thanks so much for watching our video. Please give us a call if you have any questions.